IT, forging IT security experts. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV. I'm here at DEF CON 21 in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are outside at the Rio. Decided to step outside to get some hot, fresh air. 106 degrees here in Las Vegas. And speaking of hot, we've got a hot topic that we're going to discuss with Ralph Etchmendia. He is the founder of Red E Digital and a celebrity hacker consultant. Ralph, how are you? Good, how are you, Alicia? I'm doing great. Ralph's also a great friend of the show, and we spoke with him last year at Black Hat. Uh, yeah, it was Black Hat. Yeah, it was. But now here we are at DEF CON, and things change over the course of a year. Yep. So I said one of the hot topics, uh, we're talking about some of the controversy surrounding um, training hackers, and that's been in the news lately. Yeah, in fact, um, recently did another interview uh, for the Las Vegas Sun here, and one of the questions had to do with, you know, Edward Snowden, and that he took, in fact, the CEH, same kind of courses that are taught at Secure Ninja, and in fact, that I taught for many, many years. And, you know, one of the, one of the issues with that is uh, oftentimes they'll come up with the, with the question of, well, aren't you teaching people how to do bad things? Um, you know, what kind of training do you guys do? And, you know, I, I, I like to answer that by saying we don't really teach intent. We're just teaching skills. We're teaching information. And uh, what you do with that information, you know, for the most part, you know, as ethical hackers, we're really doing it with permission, with the permission of, of the target. Um, and in this case, you know, that's, that's, that's why the controversy there is, you know, if, if Snowden took that, that, those classes, yeah, it would have given him additional information on how to do what he did, but not that he had permission to do what he did. So that's not really, you know, an issue. Um, but again, you know, that's, uh, that's this kind of information, these sort of courses, and, and the information that it brings to the environments, the, the organizations that, uh, that have all these types of, of different sec uh, security problems is absolutely necessary for them to be able to secure it. I mean, you cannot secure an environment that you don't know enough about. So uh, the key is knowledge and the key is knowing and having visibility over the environment. So You give them the, the tools to secure networks and if they use them maliciously, it's not your responsibility. Not your fault. Makes sense. Now, since we're talking about Snowden, um, there's a lot of controversy lately about, you know, is he a villain? Is he a hero? Um, I'm curious, what is the general consensus in the hacker community since you've been walking around kind of talking with everyone over the last week? What, what do they think about Snowden? Well, I mean, that's, um, it's really a doozy there because, um, as, as you can imagine, there's opinions here just like there's opinions outside of this community. And, um, you know, it, it's still something that... Uh, you know, people are going to be completely on one side or the other side of, of this issue. I think, uh, you know, a lot of people here will, will believe that he is a hero. Uh, it, it, you know, it's a little bit different uh, because of the content that he leaked as opposed to some other leaks in the past. Um, this becomes more of an issue of uh, ethics more than anything else. And, and, you know, people's ethics are very different from, from different communities in different places. So um, I'd say a, a good majority of the community here would see him sort of as a hero only because we're talking about issues having to do with uh, you know what is believed to be human rights uh, of privacy and such um, but on the flip side of that of course and you know we're also running into into the fact that there's there's been a violation of the law in one way or another right so uh, again I, it's not you know I'm not going to give any opinion specifically on it but of course opinions here are you know leaning more towards the side of, of, of being the hero to some degree only because that's kind of the nature of this community too it's the open sharing of information right so um, that's one aspect of it but at the same time like I said there's there's you know issues around the criminality of of the of the leak of information so definitely now uh, this is DEF CON 21 yep. and I know this is not your first DEF CON nope. you've been around for a while so you know talking about the community how has how have things changed from your first DEF CON till now well, my first DEF CON was uh, 7, and we're at 21, so it makes me feel really <laughs> old now. Um, that's one thing um, that's very different. And uh, the other is, it's really, I mean, it used to be a few thousand people. I mean, we're, we're now 15,000, 20,000 people coming to this event. Um, and it's, it's changed, you know, pretty drastically, but uh, it still it has stayed pretty much true to, to the exchange of information that we're talking about. Um, I mean, we have DEF CON kids now. All of us have grown up, and we have kids, so... Mm -hmm. You know, there's a whole track just for kids. I mean, that was something that was kind of 
back in the day not something that you would do is bring your kids to DEF CON but uh, now we have a whole whole section just for the kids so it's great honestly I think it's uh, it's evolving the way that it, that it should you know it's, it's a great event it's a great time for us all to get together from all over the world and and uh, collaborate in ways that we don't even know coming into to the event what we're going to be collaborating about but it's great Absolutely. Now, even though uh, you've been coming for so long and you're one of the more alumni, would you say that you walk away from DEF CON every year having learned a ton of information about new things? Absolutely. Always. This is always a learning experience and not just technically, but personally, you know. Um, it's, it's, you know, like I said, you get to meet a lot of friends and every year you meet some new friends and there's more exchange of technical information, more exchange of personal information and, you know, we all walk out more valuable from this, from this whole experience, so. Definitely. Now it's this included. Yes, absolutely. Oh, interviewing you every year is amazing because we can always build on the topics that you know we talked about the year before and see where things have gone. Yeah. Now it's Saturday night here in Las Vegas. Uh, what are your plans for this evening, or is it a secret? Um, well, there is some secrecy to the plans. There's a thing called Caesar's Challenge, and so that's all I'll say. Just figure out Caesar's Challenge. Hmm. I'll work on that. <laughs> well, thank you, Ralph, so much for talking with us. Always a pleasure. Definitely. And uh, we'll catch up with you sometime in the future. Absolutely. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Everyone at home, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are uh, producing and broadcasting stuff, not live from DEF CON, but very shortly after we shoot it so you can see exactly what's going on in Black Hat as well. I'm Alicia Webb. Thank you so much for watching. Secure Ninja Shorts are brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in information security and IT training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. SecureNinja.com, forging IT security experts.